A dream vacation in the U.S. Virgin Islands turned into a nightmare for one Delaware family. Apparently, over time, the family was found in their villa on St. John Island, and the father was in a coma, and the two boys and the mom were suffering from severe seizures. EPA officials say a pesticide at their rented luxury villa may be to blame, and the Justice Department is now launching a criminal investigation. CNN's Sarah Gannam joins me now with more on this from New York. Sarah, so how's the family doing? How long had it been before anyone noticed they hadn't seen the family to find them in a coma or in seizures? Yeah, Fred, I just got off the phone with the family attorney, and I have to tell you, uh, unfortunately, you know, the parents are doing a little bit better, but unfortunately the boys are still in pretty bad shape. The attorney told me that they were, quote, in rough shape. And I want to just run through this for you. Uh, the parents, Teresa Devine and Steve Esmond, he says they're doing better, uh, but their teenage son, uh, son, Sean, who's just 16 years old, and their son, Ryan, who is just 14 years old, still in critical condition at a children's hospital. This whole family was airlifted uh, back to the mainland United States after falling ill after a fumigation of the villa beneath the one where they were staying at the Sierra Nusa Resort on St. John in the U.S. Virgin Islands. This was very scary, Fred. The older boy had blood in his lungs. His heart was failing. One of the boys has brain damage right now. The father, he's now awake, but he can't talk. And the mother has been released to occupational therapy because she had a lesser degree of exposure, the attorney told me. But he also said this is a long recovery. This uh, methyl bromide that they were believed to be exposed to is like sarin gas. It attacks the nervous mm. system. And the Environmental Protection Agency says traces of it were found uh, in the family's villa, even though the fumigation was done below. But methyl bromide is not allowed to be used indoors because of its acute toxicity. So the EPA has this restriction on it. Now, the resort, which is owned by Sea Glass Vacations, told us that the pest control company Terminex is the one that fumigated on March 18th. And that was smack dab right in the middle of the family's oh vacation, which was nine days in the U.S. Virgin Islands. Now, the EPA clearly states, like I said, that methyl bromide is restricted because it's odorless. Wow. And it causes injury to the lung and to the nervous systems and then could be fatal if it's inhaled. Mm. Now, the U.S. Department of Justice has now opened a criminal investigation. The EPA is monitoring the air and environmental samples at that resort and working with local agencies to figure out what happened. Terminix told CNN in an email that it is, quote, looking into this matter internally, cooperating with authorities. They said, we're thinking about the family and we join the community in wishing them a speedy recovery. A spokeswoman for the EPA told CNN it is actively working to determine how this happened and will make sure steps are taken to prevent this from happening to others at vacation apartments or elsewhere. And just to wrap this up, Fred, mm -hmm. the attorney told me, he said, quote, this is the most horrifying story in the world. It really is. Oh, my gosh, that is just heartbreaking. We are, of course, um, hoping the best for that family.